Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just received a new product from Top Dom, the BT100 battery tester. I've used it quite a few times. I've had it for a couple of weeks now. So just thought I'd put together a review on the unit. As you can see, it's a fairly sort of average handheld size unit. It's got a decent length lead on it. Two, two crocodile clip connectors there. They are quite a nice connector as well. They've got a decent bite to them. Um, but all I'm going to do, I'll just take you through to the workshop. We'll just get it plugged on the car and just run you through testing the battery. But um, as with the other top-down products, it's really nice and simple to use. It's real basic on here. You've just basically got the screen, an enter button, the exit button, the end button there, and then up and down to scroll through it. So, um, but we'll just get it plugged into a car now and just run you through the functions of it. And if you want to check out a new um, device and where you can get it from, just check the link above or the description below. Yeah, so we've got this little Fiat 500 in the workshop. I'll just get it plugged on and just run you through what it does. So I just had a quick look at the battery. We've got the numbers on the battery there. You can just see that it's a 450 amp, this one. Well, if we turn it on, I've just got the main screen there. Just press enter to go in. We've got a few options here. I'm going to just run through it one by one. The first thing we've got there is just a battery test. We just press on that there. We've got the options for the type of battery it is, whether it's a standard battery, AGM flat play, AGM spiral, gel, or an EFB. Well, this is just a regular battery. We'll just do the test on that. The SAE, which we've got the number from on the battery there. I know it's a 450 amp, so we'll just run through the test. And you can just see that it's come straight up as a good battery. It's got the reading on there, healthy reading, the charge, and some other figures on there as well. And then from that, you can just go back. The next thing we can do a cranking test. So we just select cranking test. It'll just tell you to start the engine within 30 seconds. So we'll just go crank it up quick. Just see it's come up as normal there. We'll just go back out of that. Then we've got a charging test. Go into the charging test, it lets you start the engine. Press enter. And run through the ripple test. And then it'll ask you to increase the RPM to two and a half thousand. So we'll just do that and keep it there for five seconds. can just see it's come up charging normal there so, so there's a few functions on there you can go into it on the review data you can just see what we've read from it already so we'll just go back out of that then we've got language and about which is just about the device there as well but you can see it's a really simple tester it works really well does the job i have just compared it to our other snap-on tester um on about three or four batteries that i've done and it did come up with the same readings anything that was sort of slightly weak where it'd advise you to charge it and retest it this one come up with the same and the same when we had some faulty bad batteries as well this one's come up with the same results so yeah seems a reasonable bit of kit for the money and yeah if you was interested just check the links in the description below if you was interested in one also got some a few more reviews on some of the other top done products as well but yeah hope you liked it thanks for watching and we'll see you next time